a.m., our satellites detected a storm approaching the Ares 3 mission site on Mars. Um, I thought it was, it was pretty excellent. Certainly one of the more, most realistic books on Mars that, um, that I've read. Hi, I'm Andy Weir, and this message is for Elon Musk. I'm glad to hear you liked my book. Thank you very much. I mean, I, like there were a few things, like the wind force on Mars yeah. is not really that high. Uh, the storm had escalated to severe, and we had no choice but to abort the mission. But during the evacuation... It's high, obviously high velocity, but low force. Uh, but overall, um, I thought it was pretty cool. And yes, you're right, the sandstorm is unrealistic. That was a, that was a deliberate uh, sacrifice of accuracy for dramatic purposes. Astronaut Mark Watney was killed. I'm, I'm a little worried that it might not make people too keen on going to Mars. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's space. It doesn't cooperate. I guarantee you that at some point, everything's going to go south on you. And you're going to say, this is it. This is how I end. <laughs> this is, looks really hard. <laughs> but I don't think it would discourage people from going to Mars. If anything, it should increase public awareness and interest in manned spaceflight, especially with uh, Mars as a target. I think we need a show about how Mars is awesome. And it's like the Wild West, right, and you've got right. the gunslingers and like the cool cowboys and that kind of thing. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it has to be exciting to be interesting at all. So we had a little adventure on Mars, but not necessarily a tragedy. This is Mark Watney, and I'm still alive, obviously. If, if there was affordable transport to, to a place like Mars, I think the entrepreneurial opportunities would be phenomenal, you know, because there'd be people that would want to create everything from the first pizza joint to the first iron ore factory to be like just an enormous amount of opportunity for people to create things on Mars, and there'd be different things on Mars. Some of the things on Mars would be different that we don't even imagine. Uh, on Earth, um, it'd be very exciting. 25 years as a software engineer has taught me the importance of backing things up. So we need to have a human population somewhere other than Earth. So Mars, a city on Mars, could be the answer to that. So please try to put your minds to work on uh, how to make that happen. In the face of overwhelming odds, I'm left with only one option. I'm gonna have to science the shit out of this. Okay. Let's do the math. I gotta figure out how to grow four years worth of food here on a planet where nothing grows.